Hee 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 there Robert. It's crazy out there. It's so busy. Everything is moving. Well what do you expect? It's rush hour. Ha ha that is true. I'm so tired. I've been moving here and there because I'm moving away. All of this moving is making me dizzy. It feels like everything is moving, moving around. Hmm. What are you trying to get at? Why are you keep repeating the word, moving? Ah uh, ha I'm glad you asked. I learned a new meaning of the word, movement. Movement. Like in dance. I'm sorry. Anyways, I mean movement in art. Actually it's a principle of design. Did you know that movement is used to direct the observer's eyes along a path of an artwork? So you mean like the artist controls where the person looks? Exactly. Movement can also bring out the emotion and expression of the artist. Aha. I think I know what you mean. Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh uses thick brush strokes to show the movement of the wind to give a dark, mysterious feeling. Yep. You got it. That shows flow in artwork. But there are different kinds of movement also. You can have movement by having people in the artwork pointing and staring at an object. This directs the observer automatically to follow the same path. Just like this. I see what you mean. So how about pictures that have people frozen in action? Yes, that is called anticipative movement. It predicts what is going to move next. Also you can have movement by simple shapes and lines. If there's chair or table in a painting, it can direct the observer to look down along the legs. I understand, I understand. That's pretty cool. Everything is placed there for a reason. It's design. I guess my work here is done. Well I have to get a move on. Ah ha 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 see you later. Bye for now.